So my question is really, how life will be in air 20, 30, 50 years from now? Our education, mm -hmm. our transport, how do you see it? Well, I think this is one of those things that's quite difficult to predict. Um, when you think of, say, uh, I mean, the first controlled powered flight was 1903 with the Wright brothers. Um, and then 66 years later, we put, put the first people on the moon. I mean, that, if you'd ask people, say, in 1900, what are the odds of, you know, man landing on the moon, they would have said, that's ridiculous. Um, and if you talk, try to talk to them about the internet, they would not even know what the heck you're even, what are you talking. even talking about? Like, this sounds so crazy. Um, but today, uh, with a hundred dollar device, uh, you can, you can uh, video conference with anyone in the world. Uh, on the other side of the world for, and if you have a Wi-Fi connection, uh, you, you know, just, you, for, it's basically free. Uh, free to have an instant visual communication with anyone, or even with millions of people. You know, with social media, you can communicate to millions of people simultaneously. Um, so, and, and you, you can Google something and ask any question. It's like an oracle of wisdom that you can ask them with any question and get an instant response. Um, it would have been incredibly difficult to predict these things in the past, even the relatively recent past. So, I think the one thing that we can be quite certain of is that any predictions we make today for the for what the future will be like in 50 years will be wrong. <laughs> that's that's for sure. I mean, I, th I think directionally, I can tell you what I hope the future has, as opposed to maybe what it will be, because this this may just be wishful thinking. Um, I mean, I hope we are out there on uh, Mars and maybe beyond Mars, the moons of Jupiter. Um, I hope we're, we're, exp we're traveling frequently throughout the solar system, perhaps preparing for missions to nearby star systems. Um, I think all of this is possible within 50 years. Um, and I think that would be very exciting to do that. Um, and I think we'll, we'll see autonomy and artificial intelligence advance tremendously. I think that's actually quite near term. Um, my guess is in probably 10 years, it will be very unusual for cars to be built that are not fully autonomous. 10 years. 10 years from now. Yeah. I think almost all cars uh, built will be capable of full autonomy in about 10 years. Um, as it is, the Tesla cars that are made today have the sensor system necessary for full autonomy, and we think probably enough compute power to be safer than a person. So it's mostly just a question of developing the software and uploading the software. Uh, and if it turns out that the compute power, uh, that more compute power is needed, we can easily upgrade the computer. Uh, and so that's all, all Tesla's built since October of last year. Um, and other manufacturers will follow and do the same thing. So getting in a car will be like getting in an elevator. You just tell it where you want to go and it takes you there with extreme levels of safety. And uh, that'll be normal, it'll just be normal. Like for elevators, there used to be elevator operators. You get in, there'd be a guy moving a lever now you just get in, you press the button, and it's taken for granted. <laughs>